Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Tuesday the 29th of March 2022. Uh, I've had a nice long morning and early afternoon, it's already mid-afternoon here, uh, swimming, although unfortunately it seems like it's school holidays here in Thailand, I've forgotten it's long school holidays so unfortunately not as quiet as usually I have the pool entirely to myself and the last few days I notice it's become populated by underage humans <laughs> if you know what I mean families and and small people uh, which is quite annoying if you are uh, you know if it's if you normally have the pool to yourself every day but I'm not really complaining uh, it's nice to be able to go swimming and then I've had another hour of constant speaking online so I hope my voice holds up. Uh, this is the New York Times hard level game, a regular for this channel. Shall we get on with it? I will get on with it as soon as I see something. Okay, I've seen something so I think we can begin. So I've seen this one blocking across here and across here like this if I can only move my mouse. And so just that empty slot there to firmly position our first digit. Uh, right. That's that done. Can relax now. He said optimistically. Hmm. Where is everybody? <laughs> Hello, numbers come to me. Oh, here, no. No, we don't, no, we don't. Yeah, okay, I've seen something. Uh, two blocking across here and two blocking up here. So two in these two squares blocking along there, along there, and two up here. So we can put two just there. Oh dear. Um, all right, let's highlight some digits and just see if I can see anything that's uh, that's uh, I'm obviously missing. Could well be I'm just not seeing something that's clearly there. I'm marked. I'm ready to go.
Ooh, uh. Hello, 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 I've got an idea, I've got an idea, I've got an idea, okay. Let me just talk it with, through with you. Uh, one and two in this block means that one and two is banned from these three squares, and one and two here means that one and two is banned from this square. So that means one and two must be in these two squares, right? Now we can't do anything with them, but at least we know one and two is there. So let's look at the remaining squares. Uh, now we have one and two, so we're looking for three, so that's got to be up the top there. Four, okay, four. Okay, so this four blocks this square. Um, this four blocks this square, this four blocks this square, so that's a four there. I, uh, I've forgotten again. Okay, so let me just, hang on, because my you know my memory is so bad. One and two is here. So now we still need a three, right? Now we've got three blocking here and three blocking here, so that's got to be a three. Yeehaw! And what's left are five and nine, I think. Five and nine left. Ah, oh, anyway, we got something. It's definitely better than nothing. Um Okay, now we've got three blocking across here, and three blocking across here, and three up there, so we can put a three there. We've got two blocking across this row, and two up here. That's a two. Move this cursor a bit. Ah, we've got eight blocking across here, so that's an eight. It's going to put eight at the end here. Is that going to give us anything? Remaining eights look like that. Mm, quite promising for the future, but not yet. Right, okay, now we must be able to get this, mustn't we? Because we have three numbers to fit here. The three missing numbers. Five, six, seven. We've got one intersecting five, one, seven, no sixes. But five, six, seven are here, so this has to be whatever is left. And that's a nine. Do you know what? I think we got something on the sevens. I need to talk it through with you again because look, seven blocking like this, seven across here, right? So seven is therefore in one of these two squares, do you agree? Which will block across here, right? Like this. Seven blocking across here, seven blocking across here, and seven blocking across here. So to summarize, there are four squares where the sevens can go, and they are in the left hand column of this shoot and the right hand column of this shoot and that means that up here 7 must only be limited to the middle column of this shoot and guess what we've got a 7 blocking here 
So we know, in fact, that that is a seven. That's a lovely find. I'm pleased with that one. Uh, so missing numbers here and here are five and six. We can put eights over here. We can put nines there. Fives blocking there and the sixes blocking there. Hmm. Hello, hello, what's this? One, two, three, blocking across here. So one, two, and three are in these squares, right? So can we get anything? We got one blocking this square, so we got one left like there. The two, unfortunately, blocks this square, so we got two like that. Three blocks this square, so we got three. Okay, threes over here. Anything on the threes? that ah yeah that's a shame damn that's a shame i thought i'd seen something good there all right so if we know that's one two and three then we at least can get the missing numbers here right uh so we still have to get five six nine we got an intersecting five an intersecting six and the nine we don't know. So we've got five, six, nine in these three squares. <sighs> Still can't get which is which though, but maybe it will help us across here. Knowing that that was five, six, nine, let's see now. One, two, three, four. Four is in these two squares. This is a seven. Now, seven can't be here, can it, because of this? So seven is up there like that. Seven is still like that. And I guess eight is the other number. Oh, dear. That is a shame. Um, Uh, I better highlight the numbers and see if there's anything useful still as previously advertised. Ones are there. Mm -hmm. uh, no, far too much. Twos. Quite a nice pattern, but it's not helpful. Threes I already I already looked for threes, didn't I? And it didn't I didn't get anywhere. Fours.
Uh, okay, in okay, now we've got top row and bottom row for fours. That means fours must appear in the middle row, have to be here like this. Uh, still not particularly good. Um, fives are like this. Um, where's the six? Oh, that's the only six. Oh dear. Okay, we do know six is there and there and here and can look somewhere like this. I guess anywhere there. Okay, sevens. Um, that's just what I pointed out before. Eights so I've already pointed out as well, I think. Just like this, right? Okay, and nine. Okay, we have a pair of nines down here. And that's your lot, for brief. I think this is going to be an outrageously tough game. I don't think I'm going to last long um, in the no pencil mode, uh, in the uh, notation free mode. I'm going to have to switch to pencil marks very soon, I think. Uh, you know, I just, what I said before, what, uh, one and two are in these squares. Five and nine are exclusively there, but this could be six and nine. Five, nine, six, nine. And this is what six or eight. And this is what five, six, or eight. Three across here, so five, six, Uh, I 
a quick look down before I head for the pencil marks. Missing numbers are one, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? One, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Well, I've discovered one is in any of these three squares and eight is like this. Uh, sevens are possible in those two squares. Hmm. The rest of it is not very clear. Uh, anything missing on this column here? One, two. Oh, we know already. One, two, five, nine, isn't it? One and two's here, and five and nine are there as well. Mm. So, nothing. I, I looked at this already across here. It's not going to give me anything. I don't even know where to look. Um, I could, I guess, look across here. Not very likely, though. One, three, four. Uh, one, three, four, eight, nine. I give up. <laughs> okay, pencil marking time for me. Uh, ones go in those squares there, and ones go in. Oh no, what am I doing? Let's try and. Uh, sorry, let's do this first of all. Five and six go there. Uh, eights go across there. Uh, missing numbers here. Well, seven in those squares. Five in those squares and six all the way, right? Is that right? Five, six, seven. Uh, yeah. Uh, ones again. Let's think. One is a straight line down there. Um, twos. Uh, now I said because four blocks this square as well, it's going to limit four to this row and this row over here. So that means four has to be in the middle row. We've got one blocking four up here, so four has to be there. Oops. Ah, oh, have I got an eight now? Oh. Uh, 
Uh, I've got a pair of eights somewhere. That's why I worked out the colour. And nine somewhere down there. Oh, wee Louise. <sighs> tough, right? Tough. Uh, this top section here, this is done, this is done. So one, two, three, four, five. We haven't done six. We've got a six blocking up here like this. So six in those squares. Seven, eight, nine, done. Uh, nothing across here to get is there, of course not. Okay, down here. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't done six yet. Six blocks up here. Um, so six is available in any of those squares. Seven, eight, and nine. Now remember, nine has... Remember, one, two, and three block across this square, so this is... Ah, I've put sixes there by mistake. Sorry, excuse me. I forgot. This is... Uh, sixes. I did say sixes go there before, didn't I? Now, nine is the other number that we need for this row. Sorry about that. I messed it up a little bit. I nearly forgot this one, two, and three blocking across there. Okay, right, done that. Uh, does that help with the nines? Can we get any more? Any pairs of nines anywhere? Not really. Tough. It's a tough gig, is nine. Oh, but look, we've got six nine pair. Oh, that's good. So look, because here we've got six eight, so that can't possibly be a six, can it? That's got to be an eight. So let's put that in now. That's a good start. That's a good start. Okay. Let's get rid of candidate eight there. So now we have eight blocking down here, down here, and eight blocking across here. So now we actually have a pair of eights there where we didn't before. Um, okay, I think that's probably it. So let's look down here. One blocking down this column here. So one's available in those squares. Two blocking down here and two blocking across here. So we have three corner possibilities for the digit two. Digit two, I should say. Three across here. So threes can go there. Fours are in five, six. Seven, eight is done. Nine. Now I know nine is not here because I said one and two, right? We got five, nine, five, nine. So I know this is not nine. Um, any other help on nine? I don't think so. So nine looks like it goes in those squares. Now, come on, let's have some. Let's have. Let's be having yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> of course. Six nine that I got. I've now got to remove the nines from there as well. Oops, silly me. Ah, so now we got a pointing pair of nines, right? A pointing tri triple of nines. So this can't be nine now. Let's remove that nine. Okay. So let's just check. We've got one two here. That's right. One four one three four one three. That's looking good. Now we've got five six here as well, uh, but I think we had that already, so nothing to remove down here. We've got two three two three eight nine two nine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to highlight the digits just in case I can do anything now that I couldn't do before. Sometimes that happens when you put in a few things. Hmm.
Still a lot of work to do by the looks of it. A lot of stuff to do here. Hmm. Right then, let's move on. I would say move on up, um, but like Curtis Mayfield. But no, in fact, move on to the middle. There aren't any songs named "Move on to the Middle." <laughs> One, two, three, four blocks across here, like that, and four blocks down there. So let's put in our fours in those squares. Five is in six uh, we have six as a pointing pair across here so six oops like that seven eight are done nine blocks down here and nine blocks across here so nine in those squares leaving us with a single six yay us if you've managed to see that Playing notation free, con many congratulations. I never would have sixes deleted from there, and six must also be deleted from these squares. Let's click on it now. Do we get anything more? Yes, we're going to get a pair of sixes up here. And, 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 because we are limited to left, middle, left, middle, down here, we're only looking for the right hand, being attacked by mosquitoes, right hand column. We've got a six in the middle, so can't go there. So these two squares must be six and now guess what we had twos in there before so actually it's a naked pair of two and six so we can get rid of that excess seven and we can place our seven here and meaning we can delete our seven there and put our seven firmly in its oh excuse me wrong mode seven firmly in its place there i just overwrote a four i'm going to put that four in now before i forget and then i just overwrote a six i'm going to put that in and this then is going to be a six, that's a five. Uh, I see five blocking down here, down here, across here, so that's a five there. That was really helpful, wasn't it? <laughs> Sometimes you just get one number that's really, really helpful. You just have to say thank you. So thank you. Uh, right, now we've got four here, so this can't be four. That can be deleted. Four's got to go there. Uh, now, if this is a pair of two and six, then clearly whatever goes here is the last number for this column. The last number for this column is nine. Uh, so you are not going to be a nine. Go away. All right. Much, much cleaner now. Five blocking this square, giving us a six here, meaning six must appear in that square now. Now that we've got six, this is a five, this will be a nine that puts a five there, doesn't it? And our six here gives us a nine there. Uh, one, two, one, two, yep, that's looking fine. Nines now, nine blocking down here, nine blocking down here, so a pair of nines in those squares. Uh, this one blocking across here means one is in these two squares here. So now we have a pair of one and three. This eight can be taken away and executed. And we shall place our eight in this square here, meaning this has to be an eight. And we're overwriting a two. So this, as part of a pair, will have to be a two, meaning this is our two in this block. This will be a three. This is a one get rid of candidate ones down there. There's only one place for a one there. One has to go there, delete that one there. And now we've got a pair of eight, one and eight here, a naked pair, which is good, which we didn't have before. Uh, we still need a three for this column and this three is blocking this square. So we know that three must be placed there and we can get rid of candidate three there as well. Uh, looks like we just need a four. Yep, yeah, it's a candidate and it's the last one. so. Four goes in there. Four now blocks down here and across here, so there are fours there. Uh, right, looking very neat and tidy now. Don't feel like there are going to be any problems left. Okay. 
so what's left to do? Um, candidates in uh, two blocks. We haven't put candidates in either of these two blocks. Got any favorites? No? Okay, let's get on with it then. So first up, one block's down here, um, but actually is allowable in those three squares. Two, we have three blocks across here and three blocks down there. Oops, across there. So three is a pair like that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it's all done. So actually we have a unique rectangle here like this, look, of one and three. So we know this is going to be a nine. Let's put that in. Let's not waste any more time. That means this is a one, three, one, three. Uh, this can't be a one now because of this. So this is an eight. Our one goes here. Eight now means this can't be eight. So eight is there. Let's get rid of candidate eight so it doesn't confuse my poor brain. This now has to be a four, the only remaining number for this row. And that puts a seven there and a nine there. Our seven means this is a five. So this is a six and this is a seven. Our six blocking down here, blocking down here, that's a six, meaning this is a two, six is in that square. Uh, two down here gives us a nine in that by value cell, two in that one. Nine blocking across and nine blocking down. Now we know for sure that's a nine. Four is the last number we need across. And to finish today's grid, uh, five will do it. Oh, it's a long game for me. I apologize. It's a long game, but quite a tough one without pencil marks. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't have done it without pencil marks, I don't think. Although I did spot a couple of things but they turned out to be less than really helpful. So even though I spotted a couple of things, um, it wasn't enough for me. That's it. Hope to see you again later. Bye-bye.